Today, we're going to do a quick review of this NVR from NK. Right off the bat, I can tell you right now, this NVR is not good if you're going to use it with other companies. For instance, Reolink, MCRES, Lorex, whatever. Even though it says right on the box that this is RTSP and Unviv compatible, that's really questionable as you'll see later on why. When you open the box, you get pretty much standard stuff from an NVR. There's no cameras included in this kit, by the way. It's just the NVR, a PAL cable, an Ethernet cable, a mouse, and HDMI core. In the back, you get the PoE switch that you can plug the NK cameras directly in here. If you try to plug other cameras from Reolink or Amcrest, it will not work. So don't even bother plugging it in to the PoE ports in the back. There's a LAN port to get this thing online, HDMI to connect it to your TV, VGA to connect it to the uh, monitor, or you can always use the HDMI to connect it to a modern monitor. USB port in the back as well as one USB port in the front. A power brick is included of course to power up this thing which is 48 volt DC. And then there's the power switch. No hard drive is included so you'll need to install your own hard drive. Here I'm using a 2TB from Seagate. Removing the cover to install your own hard drive is fairly easy. There's two screws in the side. One, two. On the other side, there's two screws as well, one, two. And in the back, there's two screws, one, two, for a total of six screws. Power cable and SATA cable is included for you to install your own hard drive, as you can see here. Once your hard drive is installed, go ahead and put the cover back on along with the six screws. Plug it in to the power cable, the HDMI cable to your monitor or TV, and then flip the switch on the back to the on position to power it up. Let's select your language. Select the resolution that you want, and if you like the resolution, click on OK. Go ahead and enter in your password and confirm the password. For camera activation password, I'm going to use the same password as well. By the way, it's highly recommended that you plug in a keyboard, a USB keyboard, to type everything out. Otherwise, typing with the mouse is very challenging and time consuming, as you can see here. Click on Activate when you're done. It's going to ask you for an unlock pattern, so go ahead and do that. I find that pattern is much, much faster than typing passwords. It's going to ask for your time zone, so go ahead and do that. Next, configure your network settings. You can just click on Next. The hard drive that we install is blank and unformatted, so go ahead and format it by clicking on a checkbox and then click on Format. Click on Next when you're done. Go ahead and add your cameras in. For now, we're just going to click on Next. Once you check the box, Anki Vision, this will allow to get online or not. Right now, we're going to allow it to get online. Go ahead and click on Finish because you are now finished. When you're back on the home screen, you can right click. When you click on Menu, you'll see this menu pop up. Click on the gear icon, go down to Camera, and select Camera. Make sure that you're in Expert Mode. Right now, we're in expert mode. That's why we're seeing easy mode. I know this sounds confusing, but right now, trust me, we're in expert mode. If for whatever reason, this shows as expert mode, that actually means you're in easy mode. So go ahead and click on it again to be sure that you're in expert mode. That's why you're seeing easy mode. We know Unviv with real link cameras don't work, and for sure they don't work when it's plugged in to the PoE switch directly in the back of the NVR. So next up, we're going to try with RTSP. So go ahead and click on More and select Protocol down here somewhere. The first RTSP that we're going to try is from Reolink, since we know Unviv does not work. The format for Reolink is here. The mainstream is in this format. The substream of Reolink is in this format. This is supposed to work, and it works fine if you're using VLC, but for some reason it does not work. And later on, we find out that your RTSP stream has to have the 554 in the format. And the reason we know it works for Lorex is because in the RTSP stream, the address has 554 in it. Real Link does not have it, UFI does not have it, and that's why it does not work with this NVR. That's a shame, because Amcrest NVR works perfectly fine. Next up, let's create a custom protocol. I'm going to choose Custom Protocol 2, and we're going to name it Lorex. The mainstream as well as the substream. Finally, we're going to try it with UFI cameras. UFI cameras does not have a substream. It only has the mainstream, and it is in this format that works in VLC. 
So it should work in NKNVR, right? Nope, not even. By the way, by default, there's eight cameras because there are eight PoE ports in the back of the NVR. So if you try to do a custom ad, it will not work because eight cameras is already in the system. You can click on the pencil icon to edit it, to edit to the IP address of your network. Or you can always go into the PoE binding configuration, select the ports that you're not using, uncheck the box, and click on apply. Now when you go into the IP channel, you can see there's only maximum of five channels, meaning that you can easily click on custom add now to add whatever cameras that you want. Alright, hopefully this video helps you on how to configure your own NVR from NK. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.